And keep all that going, amp it up for Francisco Garcia the third. Hello, Cap City. Yeah, that's right. My name is Francisco Garcia the third. Me llamo Francisco Garcia the third. Bienvenido al Cap City. ¿Cómo están ustedes? I love how the faces I can't see all have this like, holy shit, he's going to do the whole thing in Spanish? I can't vote for somebody I can't understand. Hey, baby, how you say hashtag Mexican? Hash browns, you can make some? Well, that's right. Now, uh, by the way, that does remind me, uh, as soon as I'm done here, I will get back to work. Your food will be out in a second. Just relax, all right? Relax. Jesus. What's new? James Franco is trying to screw a 17-year-old. Wow, why is this news? You know how many douchebags are trying to screw 17-year-olds? This is not news, people. You know what I'm worried about? The 17-year-old boy that's got to follow that up. I don't want to be that kid. Hey, baby, you want to go to prom? Psh, whatever, in your mom's key to Sorrento? No, no. James Franco said he was going to ride me into prom on his dick. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't have it. No. It's weird to date people of different ages, right? Like, the last girl I dated, she was... Uh, she was 38 at the time. I was 29. I know I look like I'm 18. I get carded for lighters. Fuck that. But it's true. It's weird, man. She was, a, she was a, like a shocker, heathen, light worker kind of woman, spiritual. And she was just a little kooky, you know? And so one of the things that she told me was that we were lovers in a past life. Okay? Now, this, keep in mind, this is a beautiful Taiwanese woman, 38, didn't smoke, didn't drink, completely vegan. So she was hot and really boring. Just like no fun, you know, but but man, she told me that we were lovers in a past life. I said, really elaborate, please. And she said, well, you were a poor Indian boy and I was a rich, posh white girl. Plausible. OK, I know my history. Maybe we were in Britain. I was your slave. Who knows? Right. And then I said, all right, so let me get this straight. In our last life, which, why do you keep coming back anyway? Why are you, again, if I broke your heart last life? Never mind, forget it. Okay, you're rich, hot, white in that life. In this life, you're rich, Asian, and hot. And in that life, I was poor, brown, short. In this life, I'm poor, brown. I'm looking forward to my next life as a piece of shit. That's really where we're going, okay? You can only go up, people. Right? This beautiful Taiwanese woman told me the most racist thing I ever heard during after sex. Okay, she lies down next to me. She says, "Oh my God, I can't believe I'm in love with a Mexican boy." What? What? Why? Because your parents are gonna own a restaurant. My parents are gonna cook in. That's what's gonna happen. You know it. You know that's what's gonna happen. It's okay to date people of a certain age. You know, I like my women like I like my tax bracket. 18 and 35, and just rob me blind all the time. <laughs> All the time. Out of my way, stool. You know what? Those of you who aren't laughing at that joke, I get it. You don't have a real job. It's cool. Don't worry about it. I get it. You're an artist. Whatever. All right. You're going to go listen to Lady Gaga album on repeat to submerge yourself in cold water. Call it art. Sure. All right. Hypothermia, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Women are great, man. I used to be a, a DJ at a strip bar. If you can tell, I have the voice. Like, come to the stage. Midnight, right? Come to the stage. Amber, some hot redhead. I think strip bars should sort of set the expectation for the patron who wishes to spend his hard on, I mean, hard earned dollar at the bar. You know, set the expectation. If you get a hot blonde woman, come to the stage. Honey, you get a blonde woman that's kind of smelly all the time, come to the stage. Vinegar. <laughs> And her twin sister, Ammonia. Dude, oh, God, that's double the stink. I don't want it. No. You know, you get that hot brunette with bad acne? Come to the stage, avocado. That's bad. Yeah, I know. So y'all y'all might notice uh, as I walk up here on stage that I have a slight limp. And you might have a lot of questions. Is he drunk? Yes. You know? Uh, <laughs> Did he hurt himself? Maybe, right? No, uh, actually, people often think it's cerebral palsy. You might be familiar with that, the kid from Breaking Bad. Hey, Dad, let's go make meth and have breakfast, you know? Like, that's sort of what it is. Yes and no. I have a lot in common with him. Actually, I love cereal. I love Captain Crunch. I get sexually aroused by cutting the roof of my mouth. You know? No, but as a matter of fact, the truth is, the reason my limp is not a medical condition. It's actually a blessing. I have a large cock. It's a lot of weight to carry. You know what I'm talking about, brother. It's like, whoa! I'm Francisco Garcia III because I have a tripod. It's third leg material, not a suffix. The doctor saw my cock when I was a baby. He's like, give this boy a third. He's got one. Yeah, that's my time on Francisco. Thanks to you all very much.
Francisco Garcia the third, everybody!